Hello everyone, in this video, we'll learn how to design flowchart with the help of Raptor software. Raptor is one of the popular tool to design and evaluate flowchart. Raptor is a simple to use problem solving tool that enables the user to generate executable flowcharts. We can easily convert algorithm to a flowchart by using symbols given in the Raptor tool. Raptor has six symbols where each symbol represents a unique type of instruction. The basic symbols are assignment, call, input, output, selection and loops. Input symbol allow user to enter data. Such data is stored in some variable. An output symbol is used to display value of a variable. Assignment symbol can be used for assigning and processing values of variables. Selection symbol allows you to make decisions in your flowchart. It is similar to if else and switch statement of C language. A selection statement requires an expression that can be evaluated into a yes or no based on evaluation answer. Flowchart will further take action. Then finally we have a loop symbol. Loop symbol allows us to repeat one or more statements until some given condition become true. It is similar to while, do while and for loop of C language. Let's see the example how to design flowchart using a Raptor tool. Suppose we want to design a flowchart to perform addition of two numbers first of all we have to drag and drop input box then right click and select edit option in the first text box write down the message you want to display onto the output screen enter first number and in the second text box write down the name of variable name of variable is a then again drag and drop input box for second number choose edit option in first text box write down the message you want to display onto the screen enter the second number Message always written within double quotes. And then in the second text box, write down the name of variable. Then after that, drag assignment box. Assignment box can be used for assigning and processing values of variables. Choose edit option. In the first text box, write down the output variable name. S is the output variable. And in the second text box, write down the expression A plus B. Sum of A and B is assigned to S. Then after that, drag the output box for a result. Right click, choose edit option, then write down the output variable name. We have to display the value of S. Execute the flowchart. Flowchart runs successfully without any error. Enter first number. First number is 12. Then enter second number. Second number is 13. Now the value of S is 25. Sum of 12 and 13 is 25. Is to be printed onto the screen. If you want to compute the area of a rectangle. Now in this case, first of all, enter length. Then after that, enter breadth.
देन कंप्यूट दी एरिया ए इज इक्वल टू एल इनटू बी देन आफ्टर दैट डिस्प्ले दी वैल्यू ऑफ ए नाउ रन दिस फ्लो चार्ट एंटर लेंथ then enter breadth area is 144 next is how to use selection symbol selection symbol allow you to make decision in your flow chart it is similar to if else and switch statement of c language suppose we want to check whether input number is positive or negative first of all drag and drop input box then right click choose edit option in first text box write down the message enter any number in second text box write down the name of variable name of variable is n then after that drag and drop selection box a selection statement require an expression that can be evaluated into a yes or no based on evaluation answer flow chart will take further action now in this case choose the edit option then in the text box write down the expression if n is greater than equal to 0 if this condition is true then display number is positive if this condition is evaluated to be false then display the message number is negative now run this flow chart first of all enter any number if user input a number 12 now in this case 12 is greater than equal to 0 condition is evaluated to be true then number is positive this message is to be printed out to the screen if user input a number minus 34 now in this case condition is evaluated to be false number is negative this message is to be printed on to the screen next flow chart to find largest among two numbers first of all input the value of n then input the value of m then after that check the condition if value of n is greater than m if this condition is true then n is large if this condition is evaluated to Now be in false. this case first of all drag and drop the assignment box large right click choose edit option run this flow chart first of all input the value of n value of n is 13 then input the value of m value of m is 14 now in this case condition is evaluated to be false 13 is greater than 14 condition is evaluated to be false then m is large this message is to be printed on to the screen Next is how to use loop symbol. Loop symbol allow us to repeat one or more statement until some given condition become true. It is similar to the while, do while and for loop of C language. Let's see the example. Flow chart to print number from 1 to 10. In the first text box write down the name of variable. 
name of variable is i and in the second text box assign some values to i i is equal to 1 this is a loop counter variable i is 1 that means we have to print number from 1 to 10 that's why i initialize the 1 then after that drag and drop the loop symbol then put the condition value of i is greater than equal to 10 if this condition is evaluated to be true then drag and drop the output box and display the value of i and after that increase the value of i by 1 i is equal to i plus 1 now run this flowchart now after the execution of this flowchart first of all i is 1 1 is greater than equal to 10 condition is evaluated to be false then print 1 then increase the value of i by 1 i become 2 2 is greater than equal to 10 again condition become false then print 2 increase the value of i by 1 i become 3 3 is greater than equal to 10 condition become false then print 3 and so on finally when i become 10 10 is greater than equal to 10 condition is evaluated to be true then control transfer to the out of loop only 1 to 9 is to be printed onto the screen if you want to print number from 1 to 10 then change the condition i is greater than 10 now in this case when i become 10 10 is greater than 10 condition is evaluated to be false then print 10 then increase the value of i by 1 i become 11 11 is greater than 10 condition is evaluated to be true then control transfer to the out of loop in this case the output is 1 to 10 if you want to print a number from 10 to 1 then initialize i with 10 then after that put the condition i is less than 1 if this condition is evaluated to be false then print i and decrease the value of i by 1 now run this flowchart after the execution of this flowchart the output from 10 to 1 is to be printed onto the screen first of all i is 10 10 is less than 1 condition is evaluated to be false then print 10 decrease the value of i by 1 i become 9 9 is less than 1 again condition become false print 9 then decrease the value of i by 1 i become 8 8 is less than 1 again condition become false print 8 then decrease the value of i by 1 i become 7 and so on when i become 1 1 is less than 1 condition is evaluated to be false then print 1 decrease the value of i by 1 i become 0 0 is less than 1 condition is evaluated to be true then control transfer to the end of the loop